Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music. This time I want to show you how to set up guitar, also what to look for. Uh, basically, this is, let's call this seven hacks I want you to know. Just because if you know a little bit more things to get for, you know, better guitar tone and you improve your playing, and I don't want to miss out. So I want to close up a little bit. So just a camera angle, not showing me, but okay. So for example, so here, this 1965 Strat. So the third string, so the first one, how to put the string right length. Can you see that? Okay. So now you see, this is a post, right? Third, you know, third string and for the strap, you want to put like almost a two post or a little bit more and you, you want to cut it, right? So a little bit two post and then cut. Okay. And then this is string winder, string winder from Planet Wave, the W. So I put that. So a few things. So that's a, you know, um, right length and I will show you how to put the string on other guitar too, different type of peg, right? Tuna. Okay, so now, kind of hard to see. Yeah. So like, I like like this, like a couple of um, times, you know, can you see? So you get the idea. You want to have a little bit more wound, you know, at least two, three times, right? Then you tune up a little bit, okay, like that. Let me see. Maybe I just go down a little bit here. Yeah, you can see a bit. Yeah. So let me tune up a little bit. Who's a tuna? Make sure it's sound. Okay, I'm using, you know, tuner and uh, let's see. So, so I mean, this this guitar is pretty nice setup, you know. By the way, but here. I put the string, that's it, right? So right now, you see? In tune, okay, great. So uh, I just demonstrated how to put the third string, but right before this video, I put the second string. So right now, seven hacks. Number one, how to put the string. Right length, that's really important. Be just because I will show you. <laughs> I can't I can't really do a you know split screen thing, you know. So you know I put this one. What watch this one? See? That's only one time. See this is kind of bad bad example. What happened is if you only put one once like this, very easy to slip. So go out of tune. So do you understand? The in other strings you can see. You wanna you wanna put at least you know banging. Yeah. At least like you know two, three times, okay. Say like you know you are a big fan of amazing guitar player, say Joe Bonamassa, right? And then you had a really nice guitar, a vintage guitar, and you wanna um, Joe to play your guitar and you know you're so excited you change strings just like that. And then you tune out really carefully, you hand it to this to Joe. And then Joe starts play slow blues like this. And then end of the first song sounds like this. <laughs> And Joe goes like, shit. And uh, I don't think he's very happy. So what's what, what's happening was I put the string and I used to do this too when I start you know 
playing guitar. I mean, you change a string, that's a big job to do. The next thing, you don't know how to stretch. Then most people do it just like that. You play. And then, and, you know, and, and then you go. And then play again. Still not in tune. But, so the, this is you should do. First, number two, seven hacks, number two, stretch the strings like this. You have to really do it like this, right here. You see? Then here, oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Here I go. And then here, mm, Almost like, you know, feeling like you, you're stretching, at, you know, two whole steps or <laughs> you don't know, you don't know probably. Yeah, like that. Okay, now, so what's happening is now, like, nice minor. See, second string, it's in tune better just because I bend a lot, two whole steps, you know, it's almost like, I was kind of demonstrating, but just... So basically, see, I, I bend it, but that's that was like, you know, you, you're supposed to do like this. Stretch, 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 okay. You don't have to break a string, but just, you know, do this, you know, five minutes. So, you know, if you go to somebody's show, you're excited to bring your guitar to, you know, ask the person to play, but make sure do this one, okay? Otherwise, sounds like the, the slow blues, remember? <laughs> Five minutes ago. That's a, that's not so good, you know? So now tuning up, tuning up, still a little bit low. Okay, now. So that's good enough right now, okay? Okay, so number two stretch the string, strings, right? Okay, now <laughs> a lot of things. So okay, so how about this one? Now, now you go to gigs, you know, or a session, you know. Okay, so you bring a guitar and you change the string at the you know backstage, and somehow you forgot this. Bring this one. I mean, if you have this one, you can clip you know string like this. Like that, right? Like this. Nicely. Hit the str But wh what if you, if you don't have? This is a hack, hack number three. Okay. I'm, I'm using this Japanese coin. You know, gojuen. Gojuen. Oh, you know, quarter is fine. Hold this like this. <laughs> Wasn't good. Here you go. You see? So like a little bit, a little bit of trick, you know. Quarter is good usually. H hold it like this, you see. Pinch with your thumb, okay, and then and just you know. Like this, watch. Beautiful. Cat friendly. How's that? So tell me your opinion. So, uh, so um, once in a while, uh, I teach this one to young students at the Berkeley. Everybody said, "Wow!" It's not in tune, but okay. So that's um, you know, SG, beautiful custom shop. <laughs> okay. Now intonation problem. Intonation problem. So let's pick. Uh, <laughs> so look, this is a funny thing. I'm la laughing because normally people you usually you know prepare many videos and then editing amazing, right? But I don't edit, so you know. So this is a bad condition guitar that I made on purpose. So now here, this is really bad, you know, way to do it. String, you know. So. You know, let's let's fix that first, okay? So now, so you see, like that. This is not great. So, 
because it's really easy to slip. Okay, I should do the slipping part, but you know. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do just maybe like save this string. I don't know. Okay. Maybe I can do. Uh... So for example, right? So this one, you know, like holding like almost like you know about a two three posts, right? Uh, length, you know, and going back, so you have a little bit more length. Okay. Now hold it. You can see the hold the string like this. Okay. With your first finger, and then interesting part is first time. You, you know, parts that you're holding, you go above the string, okay? And then second time through, see? So top, you know, above the string, I kind of have, oh God, sorry, above the string, okay? And then we go to underneath, you know? Kind of pinching. I think it's happening. I hope so. I hope so. Okay, so what happens is pinching so that string stays tuned a little bit easier. Okay, good. Then again, like this. You know, you, you have to do... See, still going down a little bit. Okay, so right now this guitar condition is this. I, I made up my this intonation. This is called subtles. Subtles um, into, intonated, you know, guitar in a great way. So I will show you the, the system. But me, but the first I have to do this part. This is the dangerous for my cat, you know. So again, hold the coin, and I have to do this. Safe. Okay. Cool. So now, number four, intonation problem. This is the intonation problem. You tune up your guitar, open string. So it should be good, right? So it should be. Oh, I didn't plug in. See? This is really. <laughs> okay. So now, open string. Pretty good, I think. But well, listen to this way here. So this is this is a, I I hear a lot Berkeley's not everybody but maybe like you know uh, few okay this is the problem tune up low okay so this is what happened you see these subtles really way up here okay more distance you have from twelve frets to subtle a flat. So that this one, if you move this way, toward this way, and you make a sharp. You don't want to make a sharp, but you don't want to make a flat either. Okay, so, so that's why this guitar, the typical people don't do those, uh, any adjustment. So like a, sounds like a perfect open string. And then as you go higher, Like that you know so that's really uh, not great so one more time please look at this one intonation see I just made up that one okay so now which I, I'm I'm getting confused which guitar okay I think this one oh listen this guitar is the same guitar but uh, I adjusted really good I really so now open string So if I play, not greatest guitar, but so so, right? <laughs> so what happens? This guitar. So I play E and the E. 
here it you know intonated with the tuner so easy way to see uh, without the tuner even like you can play So the intonation problem really correcting length of you know um, subtle. So you need to have a screwdriver and right here or right here and you know do that. Very easy. All you have to see. So now this one, see intonated the shape like that. But each each guitar is different. But you see, I hope you understand. Very important. Okay, so this guitar is really intonated. And one of my students, um, um, I mean, a lot of people teach, you know, but um, yeah, and um, many, many people um, use this type of, like, you know, like teaching, like a little bit cheaper guitar. Yeah. So, anyway, so this one, what, watch this one again see way way down there so intonation is really bad right so yes here's a really funny part it's too pickup height so now intonation is good but this is intonation bad but also pickup height is bad means this watch oops little noisy can you see hmm kind of hard to see but this one, I, um, I, I raise pickup so high, especially it happened to um, single coil guitar like this because single coil guitar, single coil has more magnet pull. You know, magnet is really pulling string. So it sounds like this. So like this, again, at the lesson, I always say, play 10th fret on six string. Play again. Play again. Do you hear? And I said, do you have a do you have a tremolo? Like that. Okay. Other, other guitar I already set up right, but just you know, even like you know, I can do but right now. So this height just going down, I mean just you know. These you can really play by feel, play by feel. <laughs> I think so. You see, now I made it very low. Anyway, so now it's not so much volume, but especially if you turn up a little bit. So this, this intonation is really bad, but yeah. So that was okay. So this one intonation is really great, but also pickup heights right.
So what do you think? It's a little bit hard to hear, but that was, you know, string height was, I'm sorry, pickup height was a little bit too too much, you know. So you have to lower just a little bit. It's kind of hard to see it, but yeah, maybe. So this is kind of right. What do you think? But you get the idea. Now, a lot of people ask me about um, about um, string uh, string height. Yes. So this one, kanji guitar, I play a lot, right? This kanji guitar. This is probably right. Um, usually right, just a little bit high, not too low. Not, but but here here thing. See, like I use. Pick boy pick. Well, it doesn't work. No. What's going on? What's going on? Here you go. Oh, really difficult. I had to practice. Here you go. So anyway, this is pick boy pick, and this one. Maybe. Okay, like this. Here we go. Maybe I should go a little bit. Huh. One millimeter, right? One milli, you know. So if you do two together, it's two millimeter, right? Then for your 12 fret, it go in, but it's stuck. So it's about two milli meter. <laughs> I don't really measure, just like that. Okay. Last one. Last one, it's number seven. I hope you're still here. <laughs> okay, no, not this one. Um, not problem means this buzzing. So now this this is um vintage Fender Duo Sonic, nineteen fifty nine, all original, even the nut. So, so I don't want to change. So. I learned this trick from my friend Paul Richel when I was touring with Paul and my guitar when I went to you know more south and just a different weather so kind of buzzing like that you hear that so of course you know we can really change the trust road because moving city by city I mean, we can do that but just you know we, we have to do a little bit quicker one so he said I used to smoke back then, so he said, do you have cigarettes? Yeah, Sh show me. Then, then inside of the cigarettes, there's a little bit of like a, kind of a uh, silver, silver, like, you know, kind of a shiny paper. And he took like this paper and it go like this. Okay, just watch this, right? So he, he does like this, you know, put the end of a paper underneath, of, underneath of a string and it go like this. Play it. I go, wow. <laughs> so this guitar, I play like this, you know. So one more time, you know, take take out the piece of paper, right? Piece of paper. Then this, you get. And uh, receipt is good, receipt. Receipt is good. Especially like, you know, this is good, good one from post office, really great. But then if you don't have regular paper is good, but that's really too big. So let me try. Maybe. So I, I, I do more obvious one. I, I put paper between the strings and, and I, I rip like this. Perfect. Now, so that's a, that's a, you, you can fix the nut problem. All right. So what do you think? I don't know which guitar I'm playing. Anyway. I'm not sure this, uh, this video is good. <laughs> I just made up. All right. So you got the idea? You know, how to put the strings the right length to the string post, right? And then make sure stretch. 
The second one, stretch, 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 okay? And then if you don't have a clipper, and then you can pull the string. You remember that one? Intonation problem. You can, you know, you can intonate it, you know, use a tuner. Definitely you have to use a tuner, okay? Oops, like that. You, you use tuner, this is a good one, boss pedal, TU2, it's great. And just make sure open strings, but then 12 frets, you know, press lightly, make sure intonate it. If it's, if it's sharp, you want to bring subtle to this way, you know, toward the body. And then if it's, you know, a flat, you want to bring more, you know, make it a little shorter. So that's the intonation problem. And what was that? Pickup height, yes. I, it's a kind of famous story. Steve Rayvon always pick, put the pickup height kind of low, you know, low output is good, right? Just because that way we can turn up the amp really great. And a good guitar has really good output anyway. So usually this side, maybe 1.5 milli, 1 millimeter lower than higher string. That's what we do in a strap. And even Gibson guitar, I do a little bit, you know, lower on the front side, you know, yeah. So that, and then, you know, uh, what's that? Yes, string height. Try that. I use two picks, stick in, like that. See, this one too, stuck in. You know, so that's, but, but the thing is, right, it moves, see, move in a little bit. So it means almost two, but not quite. That's how I measure, usually. Yeah, and in that problem, you use paper, receipt. That's it. And of course, more detail about how to set up a guitar basic way and how to get more, uh, you know, better way to get the tone and all the amplifier set up and guitar and set up. Everything at my website, Guitar Wisdom. Please visit and just join us, you know, and study more. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel here, Tomo Fuji the Music. And thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.